think we're going to go over and look at Buddy Epson's house because they're tearing it down. Now look at this. And today they're tearing down his house. And today they're tearing down his house. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I was, I wasn't impressed. Well, nice old house. yeah, yeah. I just, I didn't even know. I just was walking over there. Yeah. Well, it's looking good, and I really like the fact that you put the name on it. That looks really good. Um, what, buddy yeah, yeah. I think that that makes it look kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, not everybody knows who he is. E exactly. We're just going to walk down here on the North Bay front. So, looks like Teller's renting out his place. Swap meet guy. Ex swap meet guy. And we have John's house. They just tore down. And they're building a brand new one. we go see Buddy Epson's house that they're pretty much demolishing now today on uh, I guess today's the 15th John's house John and Karen Oh, South Bay Front, sorry. I don't know why I call it North Bay Front. Okay. Alrighty, on South Bay Front. We're getting a pretty good view here with this with this GoPro because it's like pretty wide angle. Looks like it's gonna work too. Okay. It's a nice day today. September 15th, 2016.
No, not at all. Holy I was just walking by this morning on the back, and I just I noticed it. Yesterday I walked by and they were taking down the uh, some of the bunker or some of the stones. Oh yeah. I think it was 65. That it was 65. So I was living here then. It was 65 or 60. Six. 60, yeah, yeah, I think around 65. Because he was living over on the other side. He may have owned this lot, but then when the Beverly Hillbillies came around, all of a sudden he moved over here. Oh. Beverly Hillbillies. That's what, yeah, Betty Epson. This is Betty Epson's house. Oh, is that, is that all? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. And, and, and his, da his daughter lived there for a really long time. So it was, I don't know, it started out with like 13 million, then it went down to 9 million or 8 million. Another one bites the dust, huh? Another one, yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty cool house. It was, it was, but I guess, and then it sold for 5 million. That's what someone just sold me that. So they, they sold it for 5. That's what I hear. They spend another 3, so they're going to have a million that. dollar home on it. Yeah, probably. Do you see that place that they're doing over there on uh, Small Balboa? On Little Balboa, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, they got a, a lot that goes from there to there. Really? Is it yeah. on, I have to go by there. Is it, yeah, is so it? It's on, it's on the water side. I yeah. walk by and it's like, what the heck? Oh my God. It's a lady that owns the carrot deal, you know, owns all those carrots. Carrots? Yeah, she's the one that, she owns several properties. This one is the biggest. This one is the biggest lot of all. I'm wondering if they tear some houses down because there's an empty yeah, lot over there. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah. But it's all empty and they got the yeah. stuff up. And stuff. Don't you know the little carrots you get that in the package that have uh, skin removed? A Melissa? Yeah, I guess. Is that her name? Yeah. She bought that, huh? Yeah, she owned that's what some guy was, I was talking to some guy who was out in front of her. I didn't know she lived around here. I know, I, I, well, there's Melissa, but she's got a lot of different things besides the, it, the really kind of nice package, and they have little, they have little carrots on other things, too. Uh, yeah, if you go into, a, go into Sprouts. pavilions, oh, and right. you, get the, you get the carrots that are all, she's all got that all mm -hmm. packed in and locked in. Mm -hmm. Who else lives on the island? I don't know. Well, I mean, a variety of different people have lived here. I mean, like, buddy, I ain't boot or whatever the boot start with there. Um, Not I don't so know. damn much, you got to be with it. Yeah, be well, you know, a lot of these people, they live up on the hill because they don't want to be around everybody, and then maybe they, you know, less. Uh, Walter Houston used to live down the street, a friend of mine told me, and, and uh, but I don't, I don't really know. John Wayne's daughter lived down on Ruby Street, and I didn't even know that, and, and on the 300 block, but, oh. but I don't know. Coach for UCLA. An old coach. I was on the island and went into the uh, ice cream shop and I was there with uh, Kobe Bryant. Oh, yeah? And I sent him my picture. I kind of took a picture and took a selfie, man. Huh? Yeah. Like I had him before I even knew what happened, right? So you were, uh, which which ice cream shop? Chewy uh, Fruity. Oh, yeah, over there, huh? This is the better side to be on. I was on the other side, and all the shit was blowing in your face, and it's not a real healthy thing to get in your lungs. There, yeah. yeah. I don't even know how this is getting with this. You know what? This is not, that is literally stable. <laughs> well, I know. I mean, it's amazing how it doesn't fall to yeah. get on the other side. When they were doing the house down the street, wow. they were real careful about not hitting the retaining I mean, walls. Yeah, he's. Oh yeah, he's got so much weight that it's. He's not gonna fall over. Oh, it's pretty top heavy. Yeah, I can see what you're saying.
crazy they can take a house down. I know. Have a good one. Bye-bye.